In the previous session, you learned various views useful while building the user interface of your Android application. This session continues to explore more views to create robust and compelling applications. Let's begin by discussing the various image views. The views discussed till now displays text information. For displaying images, you can use the Gallery and Image view, Image Switcher, and Grid view. Image display and image manipulation are one of the fun things in the Android world. You can use your cameras to take pictures. You can use those pictures to display your fun moments. And this is what this session guide is going to tell you about. We are going to create a gallery of our own. We are going to create a gallery that displays the images in the way that we want to display it. So let's go ahead straight away and start preparing for what will it take to create the display. Go back to the session guide, pick up all the codes and paste them as it is. We're going to discuss those specific things that you need to know about this element. For example, we need to make sure that we have imported the following packages. So some of the important packages that you can see here is the action bar activity, is the gallery activity, but most importantly are the image view and the toast. Now these are the application we will ensure are included in our code. So let's go ahead and make sure that this is available in our code. The next step is to ensure that the image IDs are created in a format and passed onto a variable. And these image IDs are created in one sequence. In the main.xml, this will be the XML that will be used to display the images. So as you can see here, we have taken a choice to view the image in the width of 320 pixels and to height of 250. And we will try to fit the scale in X and Y. The one additional element that we intend to add here is the attributes XML. This is the XML which will hold the values that we require into the system. So for this particular example, we will go under the value subsection as you can see here. And we create a new file which will be the attribute.xml. The attributes.xml file contains the style bar and contains the gallery item background as we had displayed. As we move forward, make sure that you name your pictures as pick one to pick eight in one of the, in a sequential manner. Copy it and upload it into the directory that from where you need to display this element, which is basically getting into an MDPI path. So we copy and paste it on that image. So just to recap as to what all we have done, we created the gallery activity or Java in which the specific packages were imported. We created an attributed XML file which had the elements of display for the gallery in itself. And we copied all the images in the drawable dash MDPI directory. Once we've done all of this, let's go ahead and check what does the picture gallery look like. So obviously go ahead and press F11 which will launch the emulator. As you can see in the emulator, once the application gets launched, the images of Illusion Gallery is available. We can scroll on sideways. Remember, this is a center logged application. We scroll sideways and you can see that the images get changed. Incidentally, notice the use of toast that we have used to demonstrate the name of the file that is being displayed here. And that is exactly what you can see over here. So as you scroll from right to left, you can select any image on the top and the same will get displayed at the bottom. So using the images and the galleries, we were able to demonstrate how you could use a center focused scrolling gallery that can easily display 
not just the image at the bottom but also the toast of the image. Now let's add some more flavor to this. To do this we are going to add something known as an image switcher. Now image switcher is going to be an action that will allow us to transit between one image and another not just in the effect of actually displaying it but let's talk about inter image animation let's talk about highlights and let's talk about the automatic centering once again go ahead use the codes that we have provided to you copy all of those codes into these various files the attributes the main xml In the previous example, we used image viewer as the tag. However, in the current example, we are going to talk about image switcher. So as you can see here, in the image switcher, we have used the Android layout in terms of the height, in terms of the parent left and parent right. And this is where the tag goes in place. In the image activity.java, please go ahead and copy all the contents of a session guide and paste here. Once again, notice one small thing the image switcher activity that's exactly what we need to make sure is got activated here it tells us that the pictures that we have loaded here are in sequence that's pick one pick two and so on and so forth don't forget to copy the images in the directory as was required and you notice once we copied the directory the errors in the code have gone Fire up your emulator. Once the emulator gets loaded, your application will get loaded and you will see a gallery. Except this time it will be with a difference. Notice the difference. As soon as I click on the second image, I don't have to scroll. As soon as I click on the second image, two things have happened. The second image becomes the center. It gets highlighted. And the bigger picture, which is the level below here, also changes. We'll see that once again. As soon as I click an image, that image becomes the center point. It becomes highlighted and the main image in the gallery section can be seen. This demonstrates the use of the image switcher action that allowed us to do these three elements so that now our gallery scroller is not just a simple scroll option but it also has a flavor of styling in between. One of the ways to showcase the pictures in your gallery is in the form that we showed you in the previous example. Uh, an alternative to this is basically using a grid view. Grid view, listed view, scroll view are all the various options that you will need to deliver based on your customers or based on your delivery needs. So let's go right ahead and understand what is it that we need to add to ensure that our views are in a grid format. Once again, go ahead and create a project called grid. We will skip through all of these elements because you've already done this many times and we will go straight into those areas which you need to be assuring yourself with. As you can see in the XML, you need to add a grid view tag. This is the tag which will tell us how to display the images in the view. And as you can see, what we have done here is that the vertical spacing and horizontal spacing we made at 10 pixels. The width is only 90 pixels and the at stretch mode is the entire column width. So once this is done, the next step for us is to do grid activity. Once again, there's a specific activity we need to import and that is the grid view. Notice that you've added the grid view activity not just here, 
but also the fact that there is a there's a public class that we have created of the grid view activity as in the previous sections this will give us an error because the images are not copied so we go ahead and copy the images in the directory that we have created earlier fire up your emulator and you should see the results of your hard work once you've loaded the application the images get loaded up in a grid view Clicking on any of the image will actually give a toast of the specific image number that you've selected. This is no different than what we did earlier, in a, except for the fact that the layout, the output is in a different format. Depending on your needs of your programming, you can choose either the scroll model or you will choose the grid model.